In this video, we'll dive into the groundbreaking conversational image creation and editing capabilities of Google Gemini 2.0. With just a single prompt, this new AI model lets us generate a complete visual storyboard and effortlessly edit images simply by typing. I will demonstrate how you can harness Gemini to produce cinematic, realistic-looking AI videos featuring multiple consistent characters and products, perfect for creating AI ads. Let's get started. First of all, in order to access Gemini, you need to visit aistudio.google.com. You can find link in the description down below. Please ensure that you selected Create Prompt section from left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, ensure that you pick the correct model, which should be Gemini 2.0 Flash Image Generation Experimental. Also ensure that you selected Images and Text as the output format. Let's start by creating some cinematic shots. In this first prompt, I wrote, generate 10 cinematic photorealistic high quality images for a fictional film about a jungle adventure, which a man is searching for a crashed airplane with a valuable cargo. Use this as a starting point and imagine the next sequence of scenes. There are a few things that I recommend you to add to your initial prompt. Ensure there is a variety of shot types in the images. Keep the character and outfit extremely consistent. Make sure character is visible in every shot and maintain the visual style across all images. Once you send this prompt, Gemini will create 10 images as we asked, which will allow you to build a visual storyboard for a short story. In this story, we have a character and in the jungle, he's searching for a crashed airplane and he simply finds the airplane. After that, for the same storyline, you can generate more B-roll cinematic photorealistic images using this prompt. Simply I realized that 10 images wasn't ready to build the whole story, so I added a bit of additional B-roll. For example, I wanted to show plane from a distance while flying. The images created using Gemini is actually not the highest quality. It's great for creating consistency, not that amazing in terms of visual quality. Therefore, we will need an additional tool to ensure that this will look good in our AI video. After downloading all the images, I uploaded them to Magnific in bulk. In terms of the model, I'm actually personally a big fan of films and photography while upscaling my images, but in this case, I wanted to keep the coherence and consistency of my character, therefore I chose Portrait Soft. I like to keep creativity around 3 and resemblance very high, and after upscaling the image, you will realize there is a slight improvement, and now these images are much more usable in terms of AI videos. There are additional benefits of Gemini, for example, we can upload one of the images we created, this close-up shot, and we can ask Gemini to create multiple images that showcase the same character from multiple angles. And simply, we can use these images to train any LoRa. In this particular example, it created 10 different images of the same character from multiple angles. In terms of visual quality, you should seriously consider using an upscaler, but considering how difficult this job was and now how easy it is, I think there is a huge improvement here. And with a simple prompt, we are able to change the camera in the same scene with the same character. For example, I wrote generate side shot of the same scene and I would say Gemini did a pretty good job. In the same way, I was able to generate back shot of the same character in the exact same scene. And it did a fantastic job. Now, I have both of these shots. I can actually combine them in a single AI video. Here, I visited Klink and uploaded back shot of my character as an initial frame and second shot as an end frame. I wrote, he looks back while camera is stationary. I have relatively high value for relevance and I hit generate. Kling nicely combines first frame and last frame and creates this nice cinematic footage. If you want to expand one of the images you created, you can easily do that by saying, expand this image to show more of it. Originally, this image was as big as here. But now Gemini gave me an expanded version of this image. And cool thing is it actually kept the visual consistency. If you signed in with your Google account, all the conversations you will have with Gemini will be stored under library. So you can find all of them here for future reference. We can also change the body posture and hand gestures of our character, generating the same scene with my character's arms raised. Same character, arms raised. But what if I want to generate the same scene? From this particular point, then I can simply delete this, this as well. And I'm gonna start from scratch. I wrote the same prompt and I got exactly what I wanted. 
So simply, if you want to continue with one of your earlier results, you can delete the results in between. Or alternatively, you can click on these three dots here and select branch from here. And when you click on the result on top of the library, it will take you to that particular branch. And you can simply edit by typing a prompt. I wrote, generate an image of her with angry expression. I hit run and I got the result. I can delete this and say, keep the shot same, but make characters smiling. And it will keep the frame same, but make my character smile. The cool thing about Gemini, which I appreciate a lot, is you can generate scenes with multiple consistent characters. Let me show you how. For this job, I'm going to upload images of a two characters using plus button here, and I will select upload file. I uploaded images of two characters, and I wrote, create a photorealistic cinematic image of these two characters are drinking coffee together in a cafe in Paris. And I hit run. And my result is ready. I don't know where he's looking at in this image. And facial consistency is okay. It's not mind-blowing. But overall, I think it's a good result. Here's another example. I uploaded images of the two characters, two women. And I wrote, create a photorealistic cinematic image of these two characters are drinking coffee together in a cafe. Keep the characters extremely consistent. So what I observe is hairstyles are super consistent, really cool. Outfits are consistent. The face consistency is okay. It will not maybe blow your mind, but it is workable, definitely. Now I wrote, show me another angle of the same scene. And it didn't exactly give me another angle. Maybe I can be a little bit more specific. Generate image of the same scene from bird's eye view perspective. Okay, this definitely didn't work. Good to know, the bird's eye view didn't work. I will delete this. What we can do is add a skull to the table. So adding and removing objects works pretty good. It added a skull to the scene, but unfortunately we lost the hand of one of the characters here. Now we can say, remove coffee cups from scene worked partially. It removed one of the cups. It kept the other one. It also removed skull, which was not what we asked for. And you will realize after every edit, image distorts more and more. After three, four edits, degradation will be extremely high. You can realize that visual quality dropped a lot. We can also test how well Gemini handles text. If you want to, for example, write a brand name to this motorcycle, add Excalibur text as brand to the motorcycle. It's not perfect. It definitely struggled with accuracy here, and it's not as good as ideogram when it comes to managing text, but it actually does pretty good job if you have something like little obvious, let's say, or you want to add a text to a t-shirt, then it actually does pretty good job. In this next example, first I generated an image of a pink door in the middle of a desert, and there is a visible jungle behind the door. After that, I added, generate same scene, door is closed, no jungle visible. Gemini was able to generate this image. I highly recommend you to start with this particular sentence here, generate same scene, then you can explain the new context. This really gives Gemini some structure. I had a lot of trials and errors with this particular test. Every time when I asked, okay, generate an image, the door is closed, no jungle visible, Gemini tend to create new doors which doesn't fit to the original one. But once I added generate same scene, I got a consistent result. I applied same technique to this particular example. I had this shot here where my character had arms up and I said generate same character with arms down. And in the end, Gemini was able to generate this for me. I want to show you a few product photography examples because I think Gemini is doing a pretty good job here. First of all, I uploaded the image of my model. I uploaded a cyber jungle hoodie and I added generate a photorealistic fashion photo of this woman wearing the black hoodie. And here's the result. A few things here, of course, the writing got a little bigger. It managed to keep the consistency of these green robes here, which is impressive. We lost a little bit of consistency from the face. And because of that, I said, same shot, but make your face more visible. Then we could see the consistency of face and the product together. And then I was able to generate this shot. You will realize few issues here. Of course, the writing is not 100% correct. But just as a reminder, this is still one of the early versions of this technology. You can imagine how capable these models will be in five years from today on. The next example is quite fun. I started a game with the same photo of my character and I added a jacket and I attached to the conversation and I just wrote, she wears the jacket. And model was able to add the jacket to my character. 
if you're gonna deal with multiple products, I would highly recommend you to upload one by one, not all of them all together, to not to confuse the model. I uploaded image of this bag, and I just wrote, she holds the bag, and model perfectly added the bag to the scene, which is pretty impressive. And again, since we are dealing with the same image multiple times, the formation started here a little bit, you will realize. But what impressed me here, how great this model understands the context. And as the last step, I added this beautiful looking slippers and I ended up with this final image here. Now at this stage, after the third product, the formation is visible, but still I was impressed with how great model understands the context. And in the last example, I uploaded a mock-up of a mark, a simple mock-up, nothing complicated. And as the second element, I uploaded image of cyber jungle illustration. And I wrote, insert the illustration to the mark. And model was pretty impressively able to insert the illustration to the mark. Of course, you will re realize that there's slight deformation here again. It's difficult to say that this is like production ready where you can upload this to your e-commerce website and start selling the objects. But I think it's still very impressive. And yeah, looking forward for future iterations of this impressive model. And hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.